Hello everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Visual Enterprise Overview and Update. During this webinar, jointly sponsored by SAP and LeverX, you will learn how the Visual Enterprise solutions from SAP enhance communication, collaboration, and decision making. The webinar will also include demonstrations of end deliverables and content creation. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. But I think um, most of you might know me. Uh, my name is Mark Landros, and I am part of the solution management group at uh, SAP, representing the visual enterprise. And I've uh, been around this solution, gosh, I'm going on uh, 10 years now. Uh, prior to uh, working with the visual enterprise solutions, uh, my career has been uh, pretty much in the PTC space as far as CAD uh, goes. So I have a background in engineering and manufacturing. And um, uh, what I'd like to do today is uh, take you through and uh, give you an overview of the visual enterprise, take a look at some uh, deliverables that can be created with the visual enterprise solutions. Uh, we'll see where visual enterprise fits into the SAP solution stack. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about some of the new capabilities. Uh, then I'll turn it over to uh, David Cramp, who will take us through a couple of exercises uh, utilizing our solutions. And then uh, we'll wrap up with some uh, key benefits and some questions. So uh, with that, uh, what I'd first like to start out with is you know, kind of go through where Visual Enterprise fits into the uh, solution stack of SAP. So you're all SAP customers. Uh, you're using it uh, for managing your business. Um, you, know, you may be using it for uh, managing your CAD data you know, on, the, on the front end side, you know, within uh, your engineering departments. Um, you may be using it on the shop floor to control the, the production orders that are going through and provide documentation to your shop floor users. Uh, uh, you could be using it for uh, managing your purchase orders and your requisitions and scheduling your service and other types of support of your products or your, or your plants. Um, so SAP does a great job of bringing all that information together in one area, providing you with, with consistency and being able to leverage that same data regardless of what department you might be working in. Now, that information uh, inside of SAP traditionally has been textual nature. You guys are all familiar to transactional screens that you're working with. You love all of those where you use reports that you, that you might generate uh, when you're looking up part numbers or whatnot. Um, but now with the Visual Enterprise, uh, we layer uh, the graphics uh, of the product, of the plant, or of the process um, that you're working with. We layer that underneath the textual information and create a link to it so you have a new way of exploring all of that ERP data that you have stored inside of SAP. Good afternoon, everybody. Dave Cramp from LeverX here. And uh, thank Mark for introducing me. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to time permit and get through two different examples of, of going through some live, live demonstrations of a couple of tools that Mark highlighted in his excellent uh, presentation. Uh, first, I've, what we see on the screen is SAP uh, Visual Enterprise Planner, where you can take uh, this released engineering data and create your, your manufacturing information from it, your manufacturing bills of material, shall we say, from that engineering CAD model and do it all in a visual sense and then have that visually created material bomb linked, as Mark just finished up at the end, linked back into your SAP system, creating your, mil your, your, your manufacturing bill of material for your various plants where you can then go produce that. So that'll be my first step that we're going to go through. So let me come in and get and open a model. So I'm open up this crankshaft. You see over here is the crankshaft is opened up in my center 
pane. And so let's, let's do a layout. Over here on the left-hand side, you can see the structure of uh, this crankshaft assembly. So you can see it's a, it's a four-piston crankshaft assembly. You can see there's its drive spline on the back. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go and, and work on creating a, uh, a, a, a series of M-bombs from this structure. You know, we're going to restructure this engineering so we can reflect how you're going to actually be able to build this on your manufacturing floor. You know, so the first thing, step I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to build a piston, a, a piston head assembly. I'm then going to, you know, work on a connecting rod, upper connecting rod assembly, and then a lower connecting rod assembly, and then merge those all into a piston uh, top level assembly 